Yo, what's going on? And welcome back to some more Pokemon Violet. And I'm not sure if this is going to be the last one or not. I don't really know what happens after the end. So we might have like a bonus episode after this. But this should finish up all of the main quests. In the last one, we finished up Starfall Street, which ended in a final battle against um, Cassiopeia, the leader of our Team Star, which turned out to be Penny. Um, and previously we finished up uh, the Titan uh, sandwich quest with Arvin. Um, and so now we have two people for our squad to go to Area Zero in here. But first we need to get the third member, which I'm pretty sure is Nimona. Um, and we gotta go to the Pokemon League, which is the final thing we have ahead of us. We're gonna head over to the Pokemon League. And we will challenge them. And we will see... If this is the last thing for the Pokemon League challenge. I'm thinking there'll probably be four Elite Four members. Maybe a champion like Jita as the final. And then after that, Nimona. And then we'll see where it goes from there. I don't know if we'll be done at that point. And then we can go to Area Zero. I also don't know how long that's going to take. So let's save it up real quick. Because I don't remember if I saved before the start of this episode. Um, but this is how we're gonna lay out our team. Meowskarat is a really good lead because it has um, U-turn to switch out. Uh, so we could switch into anything that we need to. And, you know, our team has been this for a while. Uh, Tatsugiri, probably the weakest member at the moment. We didn't end up giving him Draco Meteor. I thought about it a little bit, but I think we're just gonna keep Dragon Pulse for now. Um... Because I feel like he's going to hit so hard that it's not going to matter. Let's see here. Selixia from Yuva Academy, is it? It appears you have a total of eight gym badges. Very well. You may now proceed to the interview room. That one guy was trying to get to the interview room without having any badges. He's not even going to make it past this part. Oh, it's Rika. Good. The Blissey is here again. I didn't restart my game in between the last two episodes. Something is wrong with my game. Every cutscene, every time you teleport, every time you enter a building, there's a blissey. It just stands there. Thank you for coming today. Please do have a seat. Look at this. What? What is this? There's no turning back now. Whatever. <laughs> it's going to ruin <laughs> every cutscene. Whatever. We'll leave it. We'll leave it. What are you doing? Please take your seat. Oh, I was supposed to. I was trying to talk to you. Yeah, it's like. Okay. I, Rika, will be your interviewer. Let's get started with the first portion of the champion assessment. We will begin the interview. First things first, let me see how many gym badges you have. Excellent, you have all eight. Next, I'd like to ask you a few questions if you wouldn't mind. Please think carefully as you may automatically fail the interview depending on your answers. Jesus, let's begin. How did you get here today? <laughs> today? I flew by taxi. Very good, very good. Please tell me the name of the school you are enrolled in. Uh, what is this first one? Naraja is the other game, right? Uh, Scarlet, we're at Yuva Academy. Ah, that's right. So what brings you to the Pokemon League today? I came to catch Pokemon. Just for fun, I guess. Came to become a champion. Yes, indeed. Why else would you be here, I suppose? Now, what do you intend to do if and when you become a champion? <laughs> I want to battle Nimona. I want to find treasure. I want to become even stronger. I see. Interesting. Tell me, which of the eight gyms gave you the most difficulty? Uh... I don't know. Which one was this? I don't know all the names. Montenevra was a joke easy. Alfernado was supposed to be the last one. That one was probably the hardest, right? I think it was the hardest. It's either that one or Artisan, but we went to Artisan 
Slater. Or Glaciato. I'm gonna go with Alphernada. I feel like that one was the hardest one. I see. What was the name of the gym leader you faced there? That was, uh, shoot, what was her name? Oh, it, it just has them lined up. I forgot what her name was. I knew it was the, the beauty salon lady, but it, it was indeed Tulip. I'm glad you seem to remember. But do you remember which type of Pokemon Tulip used? She used psychic type Pokemon. Wonderful. Building the skills needed for the champion assessment is no small feat. You must have met a lot of Pokemon to get here, Celixia. What was the category of Pokemon you chose to be your first partner? The Grass Cat Pokemon. Very good, very good. Now, please forgive me, but I'm going to repeat a previous question. Remind me, what do you intend to do if and when you become a champion? Uh, am I supposed to answer? I want to become even stronger. I mean, I'll battle Nimona too, but I want to become even stronger. But does that mean I got that question wrong? Like they want me to say I want to battle Nimona? That's not my goal though. Next is a final question for this interview. Do you like Pokemon? Yes. Good job, kiddo. That about wraps up the interview. Let me be the first to congratulate you. Can you fail? You just passed the first part of the champion assessment. On your first try, too, no less. Don't think anyone's done that since Nimona. But anyway, time to switch gears and get ready for the next segment. The second segment is what we call the Elite Test. And you'll be facing the Elite Four in Pokemon Battles. I guess that's pretty obvious from the name of the test, huh? Anyway, we're the best the league has to offer, and you'll be facing us four in a row, no turning back. This won't be a cakewalk, I promise you that. Make sure you're all ready, then go to the room behind me. Alright, let's do it. Is the Blissey still there? Yep. the Blissey in this room. <laughs> At least he's not in this cutscene yet. Oh, the Blissey's back. <laughs> it's just staring at an abyss. Now then, let's get this started, eh? Let good old Rika be the first of the Elite Four to take you on. I'd say I'll go easy on you, but I'd be lying. Click fast. You were challenged by Rika of the Elite Four. Whiskash, huh? That's not a good matchup for you. I finally get to battle you. I've been looking forward to this, so don't give up too soon. Critical hit. I mean, the critical hit is guaranteed. Came erupt. I'm not allowed to switch, but I will be using U turn, I think. Uh, yeah, I don't think I could eat this and knock off. That's a lot of damage, though. Ah, 
Uh, I could do this, actually. I was thinking of going Tatsugiri. I wonder how much damage he does to Tatsugiri, because if he doesn't do very much damage, Tatsugiri could set up right now. Why is Tatsugiri always in the ground? I hate you, by the way. You're a nerd. You actually use Yawn on my grass type? Are you stupid? Oh. That sucks. Do I kill you here? I don't think so. I gotta switch again. I can't believe he used Yawn right there. That was so stupid. Okay, I'm alive. Dawn fan. So you're ground type, huh? Hatsugiri should outspeed most of you. Unless you have sturdy. Okay, you have sturdy. That might kill. Ooh, Tatsugiri hanging on. Doug Trio. Doug Trio is very fast. There's no way Tatsugiri outspeeds. This is the Meow Scarada angle. Wadsire. Ah uh, yes, one of my own Pokemon. Nah ha, ha impressive, you really are something else, kiddo. I don't know what he's gonna terrestrialize into. He must be ground, right? So I think I just terrestrialize into grass. Let's finish this. Go on, Claude Sire. Shake things up a bit. Yeah, he looks like he's ground. Protect? Are you for real? You gotta try and stall me out of flower tricks? Goodbye, Cloud Sire. Not bad, kiddo. Talk about unfair, no way was I ever going to win that one. Still though, what a great battle. Felt good even to lose. Not a whole lot of trainers have the skill to make it past the elite test, but who knows. 
I'm beginning to think you might be one of the few that do. Better stay on your toes, though. The second of the Elite Four is stronger than me. You're up next, Squirt. Come on out. Oh, it's the little kid. Coming! Do I get fully healed in between battles? Also, do I not get to switch up my lead? Oh, wow. Did you lose, Rika? Yeah, I did. She's no pushover, let me tell you. I'll be catch. I'll be watching from the side. Avenge me if you can, eh? You bet I will. Oh, I do get a chance. So I'm not healed up. So we should probably heal up a little bit. I think Miascarada will be fine. Are you ready to face Poppy of the Elite Four? Yes. It's so cool you made it this far, but this is where you say bye-bye, miss. All my Pokemon are super tough. Your weak attacks won't work on them at all. They'll bounce right off, you see. Are you Steel? I can't wait for you to meet my friends, so here they come. Where did that Pokeball come from? She put up her hand, there was nothing, and then it appeared. Copperaja, you are steel. Interesting. Go on, Raja, smoosh him. Alright, we need to get out of here. Man, Mouscarada hits really hard. Like, that was not very effective. Not even a stab move. What are we looking at here, though? Probably a Clod Sire, right? Pomot can do some work in this. Cerule Edge can do work on specific Pokemon. Clod Sire is going to be having a bad day if he goes for, like, a Bulldoze or something, though. All of these Pokemon are going to have a bad day against a Bulldoze. Or an Earthquake. I guess it's got to be Clod Sire. Heavy slam. Not that bad. Nice, good work. Bronzong, you probably have Levitate, huh? But I have secret tech just for this. Oh, wait, do you not have Levitate? Is this telling me he doesn't have Levitate, or is it going to trick me? I guess I could try it, right? What's the worst he could do, Zen Headbutt me? That's pretty bad. Let's try it. Because if he has Fireproof and not Levitate, okay, he does. This is the worst possible situation. I'm in a pretty bad way now, huh? I should have gone for Megahorn. But that means he doesn't have Fireproof. I don't think he can do very much damage to my Cerule Edge, because I'll just heal it off. Corviknight. Is Corviknight flying steel or is it dark steel? Pressure. I mean, even if it is dark. Wait, it must be dark because my uh, ghost moves weren't super effective. 
Wait. No, that, that wouldn't have made any sense. They shouldn't have been super quick. Magnazone. Let's hope you don't have sturdy. Uh, is that sturdy or did you just live that? You have sturdy, of course you do. Light screen. That doesn't really help you here very much, honestly. I feel like I just shadow sneak on in real quick, just in case you have a priority, but I don't think this Pokemon has any priority. Tinkaton. Is this your signature Pokemon? I'm not scared, my last Pokemon will turn things around. Oh, I didn't really... Did I Terrastalize in the first battle and now I can't Terrastalize again, or how does this work? Oh no, I can Terrastalize. Time to get dressed up all pretty, Tinky. So Quad Sire needs to be healed a little bit, but... Wow, wow, I wanted to take revenge on you, Rika. Pretty sure you mean take revenge for me, Squirt. Don't think I did anything wrong by you. Hate to say it, but you lost, Poppy. Better call the next guy. Oh, that's right. I haven't had to do this in a long time. It's your turn, Mr. Larry. Oh, is this Larry from the, the normal gym? Hello there, it's me, Larry. I don't know if he's still gonna use normal types. Didn't he say... I can't remember if he said something about being in the Elite Four or not. We need Claude Sire at full because Claude Sire is our main source of eating damage. Let's give it, throw in a save in the middle here. Are you ready to face Larry of the Elite Four? Yes. So you made it this far. I serve as a member of the Elite Four too. Yes, unfortunately for me. At my gym, I use normal type Pokemon since I feel they have a lot in common with me. But well, the boss told me to use a different type here. So if you have any complaints, please take them up with La Premiera. Anyway, time to get to work. Tropius? Are you flying or are you grass? What are we doing here? Well, I'll be trying my hand with flying type Pokemon this time. Hmm. So what do I do here? Flying type is very good against Meowskarata, so I need to get out of here. Palmot's not that strong against flying type, though. 
What am I doing? Cerulege might be good at least for the this first Pokemon. I don't really think I can go Tatsugiri. Ooh, now I wish I had that Solar Beam um, Blade move. Don't flinch me. What else are we looking at here though? Star Raptor. That's fine because your Intimidate won't matter. I feel like I just stay in. Star Raptor doesn't have that much he can do to me. Oh, and you just died. Alright. So Rule Edge might be a little bit stronger than I have been giving him credit for. Altaria, huh? Can't spam fire against you, but you still don't have any advantage against me, so I think I just Shadow Claw you. Ooh, you're tanky. Oracorio. Wonder which one. The electric one. Ooh, I'm running out of bitter blade. Should maybe save it then. I forgot about that. Teeter dance. I might just swap out here. You have Volt Absorb, but if he goes for a flying type move. Revelation Dance. I don't know what that does, but apparently I am immune. Uh oh. Claude Sire is not the fastest lad. You're even stronger than before. I guess I don't get a break today. Mm. I feel like I gotta stay in, I guess. The risk of messing up my suit a bit. It's time to get some wind at our backs. I don't know how hard this thing's gonna hit. I'd advise you stay on your toes because I'm about to scatter you to the wind. Brave bird, oh geez, that might hurt you a lot, actually. Oh, and you crit Claude Sire? I think Claude Sire would have lived if it wasn't a crit, but would have done a lot. Does half of Flamigo's health, huh? Alright, what am I going into here? We're looking at speed. I think Grafia is a good choice here. Should be able to finish at that amount of HP.
Well, that took the wind from under our wings. You're a lot stronger than I recall. No wonder La Primera likes you. Now then, I suppose the final member of the Elite Four is next. It's your turn, Hassel. We've seen this guy too, right? Now where could he be? Uh, don't think he heard you, Larry. Come on in, Hassel. Larry, you may need to speak up just a little bit more. Hassel. Hassel, you're up next! Ah, uh, yes, this guy, I remember you. Hello there, Celixia. It delights me to see you here. As for you, Larry, I see you made Rika do the shouting again, hmm? Alright, we gotta heal up Claude's side. I guess it's fine. I'll use a super potion. Alright, we'll save one more time. Are you ready to face Hassel of the Elite Four? I was, of course, absolutely certain you would make it to me eventually. Young sprouts truly do grow with astounding speed, yes, but I never for a moment imagined we would be facing each other so soon. Now a teacher's duty is to guide students and aid their growth. But I think I shall forget about my role as a teacher for a moment. And wield all my might for the sole purpose of defeating you. I am Hassel, the dragon guarding the final fortress of the elite test. Prepare to learn firsthand how the fiery breath of ferocious battle feels. So you're a dragon trainer? Is that right? Might not be a bad matchup since I have Clara. Ooh, it's not a great matchup. I could just U-turn out here. Show me everything you've got, I shall face you with my full strength. Could U-turn out, but I'm gonna go for the big plays. Wow, you are tanky. What in the world? How did you live that? How did you live that? That's wild. I think knockoff kills here? I think it should. Dragalgy. Oh, Dragalgy is a problem. Because I can't just play rough Dragalgy. And if I U turn it. We might get poisoned. But that's how it is, I suppose. Oh, I don't think I got poisoned. I think Claude Sire is it. Does your Galgi have Levitate? I don't know. I think your is going to struggle to actually hurt Claude Sire. Ooh. Well, I, I forgot that doesn't even work. You do not have Levitate. Get out of here. Flapple. It's not a bad matchup for me either. Dragon Rush. It flinched me? That sucks. Okay, we'll try it again. But he missed this time, so... Gives me an extra turn of healing. Oh, actually I just one-shot you, jeez.
Haxorus. That's not a very good matchup for me. Especially if you have Earthquake. I think I just go for Poison Jab and hope to poison you. I think I live one more. Poison? Dang. I was thinking about going for Toxic. If I had gotten that first Poison, then I would have won this battle. No poison for me, huh? No one can really switch into this. Uh, Claude Sire has to go down. He did good work, though. Okay, do you think Mao Skarada is faster than Haxorus? Masquerade is my fastest Pokemon, so if anyone's going to be faster, it will be you. Pretty much the good of Masquerade here is as long as uh, it can kill Haxorus, then I can scout out the next Pokemon and switch out with U-Turn. Baxcalibur. Only a little more until you pass. Don't let up. Do I just go for play rough here? I think I do. Meowskarada might go down, but... Come on, oh great dragon, and take a Terra Jewel as your crown. Only half. Jeez, Meowskarada doesn't hit these things very hard. Ooh, you missed, though. Don't miss, Meowskarada. Oh, you ate that? I got a high roll the first time? Well, you tried your best. You did good work. Meowskarada's attack stat just isn't high enough, huh? Yeah, it's kind of low. Unfortunate. Okay. It's the dragon. I mean, Cerulege can resist. It, actually, Cerulege is the best play here because I have Shadow Sneak and he's so weak. defeated. The mighty Dragon has been felled. You really did it. Oh, wow. Huh? Wonderful. What? I'm just so proud of you. Whoa-ho-ho-hoy. Oh, don't cry, Grandpa Hassel. There, there. Want a hug? Sorry about all this, Elixia. The old man can get like that sometimes. So what if I do? I've just, just been so overwhelmed. <laughs> Guess I've got to do the talking. Anyway, your result at the elite test of the champion assessment is... A pass, no doubt about it. Yeah, you're tougher than steel. Yep. You did so beautifully. Congratulations. I'd say you're good to go, but there's actually just a wee bit more to the champion assessment. This'll be your final trial. See the door back there? 
Our fearless commander, the final opponent you'll face for your test is waiting beyond it. Her skills are so amazing, she was able to strong arm all of us into joining the Elite Four. You won't find a mightier champion. Though I think you'll do fine, kiddo. You beat me, after all. I'll patch up your team on the house, so don't lose, you hear? Oh, so he does heal me. Nice. Does that mean I get my moves back, too? I'd really... I really love your Pokemon, miss. So I'll cheer for you as hard as I can. Well, uh, good luck. Even a baby dragon can breathe fire. <laughs> Gee, thanks. <laughs> Whoa, guess you got over your sobs, huh? You can do this, we all know you can. Now go, young Celixia, your hands may be small, but let them seize a great victory. Okay, we're all healed up, we got all our moves back as well. Yep. Ahem, good luck. Alright, Celestia, show us the fight of the century. Good luck on your final test. <laughs> I like how you kneel over for the little kids. Your final opponent is terribly strong, but then so are you. Banish your fear with a calm mind. You will surely see the path to triumph. Okay, let's save it up. Are you ready to face the final test of the champion assessment? Yes. Ooh, on the roof. Welcome, Celixia. Gives me great joy that you've managed to make it all the way to the pinnacle of the Pokemon League. Final test is a battle against me, the top champion. To pass, all you need to do is win. But before we get started, I should apologize for one thing. You see, I have a trait that some might say is inappropriate inappropriate for the league chairwoman i am utterly incapable of holding back when it comes to pokemon battles it doesn't see that doesn't really make sense though like is she limited by what pokemon she can use or something because if the best pokemon battler was the one who stopped anyone from receiving rank of champion wouldn't no one ever get to rank of champion because the, the person stopping them was already the best Maybe that's why nobody pa nobody's passed this test recently. It's a bit of a problem, to be honest. But you, you might manage something wonderful like Champion Nimona did. So, are you ready for your final test? I want to see the true measure of your talent. Hopefully this has some good music. You are challenged by Top Champion Jita. Psychic type first, huh? Do I stay in? I do hope you can defeat me and become a champion yourself. I think I stay in. I don't think you can kill me with anything. Oh, wow, you live, though? Yes, that was a correct decision in this situation. Please continue. Oh, you have Dazzling Gleam. That didn't finish me, though. What's the matter? You're not one to let something so insignificant fluster you. Okay, I want to stay in and scout the next Pokemon, so... I can't believe that Masquerada couldn't finish this thing in one hit. But I guess I do have a Miracle Seed on Masquerada, so... It only makes my Grass-type moves stronger. Okay, so Go-Go probably has Sap Sipper, so I can't hit you with a Grass-type. I just kind of swap out with U-turn here, I think. It's a lot of damage, though. Do I just go into Grafai? I guess I'm scared of a fighting type move, though. I think we go Cerule Edge. Bulk up. That's not what you want to see. I should be able to eat through that bulk up, though, with you at half health.
Avalog. Does he have Earthquake? I guess I'm just gonna stay in. I think I can eat the Earthquake. Yeah, I mean, it hurt, but it's just an Avalog. It doesn't have that much attack. King Gambit. Oh, is that the evolution of, uh, Bisharp? This is bad, though. If he has Sucker Punch... Supreme Overlord. Gain Strength. What? I didn't get to read all that. Uh, I'm gonna hope he doesn't have Pursuit, but I think he has Sucker Punch. I don't even know what to do, though. We do this. This will eat a Pursuit or a Sucker Punch, and then eat another Sucker Punch if we need. As it goes in for the close combat. Stone Edge. enough nice glimora that must be the evolution of glemet but we've never seen it Heh, haha, don't think you've won just yet. Also don't remember, the Glemet thing was like poison ground, maybe? Ooh, that thing's cool, actually. I would've used that if I knew what it looked like. Um, I don't have any choices, so I think you just close combat and hope for the best. Be the light that guides all trainers, Glamora. Better not become a ghost type here. What is that, rock? You might die. Yeah. It must be poison rock then. Toxic debris. You defeated top champion Jita. You go beyond my imagination so easily. Such overwhelming power, such amazing skill. It seems Paldea has gained another wonderful trainer to be proud of. Congratulations, it's my honor to call you champion, Celixia. Congratulations is right, now I can really say you're good to go. Yay, you did it, miss. Congratulations. Just a bracing, I can't hold it in anymore. Oof, crying again? You Pokemon trainers are the treasure of Paldea, and amid that treasure, champions are the jewels that shine the brightest. Champion Celixia, it is now your duty to set an example for all the trainers of Paldea. Now allow me to walk you back to the entrance. I'm certain you'll find a familiar face awaiting you. Oh no, Nimona's gonna harass me again. Nimona's the real bully in the story. Celixia, Celixia. Oh man, I can just tell looking at you. You did it, right? You became a champion. Yes. 
Ha ha, I knew all along. I got word from La Primera when you cleared the elite test. Oh man, Celixia, I'm a champion and now you're a champion. Which means we're true equals, you and me. Both champion rank trainers. This is amazing. Now that you've made it here, I've got one thing to say. Let's you and me be the best rivals for life. Sure. Yes! Tomaya! I don't know what that means. Alright. You know what rivals do? Battle their absolute hearts out. I'm gonna hit you with everything this time. You ready? Do wait a moment, Champion Nimona. Uh, what's the matter, Premier? The Champion assessment has only just ended, I believe. A rest is in order for Champion Celicia, Miascarada, and the others. Champions must be understanding towards their opponents. Er, great. There I go, getting overexcited again. Sorry, Celicia and Miascarada. I also must ask in this roadside, really, the setting you two want for your first battle as true equals and rivals? Hmm, now that you mention it, that's a good point. In that case, we can use one of the Pokemon League battle courts. Surely there's somewhere more fitting, a place with special meaning for the two of you, perhaps. Yeah, in your backyard on the beach. Special meaning, hmm. Let me see, anywhere leap to mind? Oh, do I actually get the pick? What is the treasure eatery? Oh, that's the one where Larry's gym was, right? I think. Um, I mean, this one was the one that came to my mind, so I think we should go here. Aha, our beach out back, huh? Yeah, the place where we had our first battle might work. But on the other hand, to me, it's just kind of my backyard, you know? A little ordinary. Any place else come to mind? You don't like that one? Okay, what about Mezzagoza? Mezzagoza, ooh, good call. The place where we set out on our journey. That reminds me, Celixia. Remember when Director Clavel explained the treasure hunt? You know how he told us to go in search of our own treasure? You know what treasure I got out of all this? I found a true rival, someone who can stand up to me at my full capabilities. Hey, you don't know that yet. That's right, I mean you. I'm so glad I got to meet you. Anyway, that being said... I'll be waiting for you at the battle court in Mezagoza Central Plaza. See you there. The respect you two share is palpable. Even a bit enviable, to be honest. I am known as La Primera, but even when facing me in the final test of her champion assessment, Champion Nimona didn't reveal her full might. In you, I suspect she has found someone she can battle without holding anything back. Interesting. I wonder what level she is. Hopefully she's just not too strong. That would be kind of awkward if I... But I'm over-leveled for the Pokemon League, so I should be fine, right? Alright, we're gonna go do the final battle, so... And then we'll have a good idea of... Uh... How we'll be moving forward into Area Zero. Come back and see us whenever you need. Alright, so we're going to Mezagoza, huh? Oh, there's ladders. Maybe we should climb the ladders really quick and see if there's some items up there. This can't be safe. I can't ride Maraida on here? Eh. Just trying to... I don't see any items. Electro Ball. Hukuu! Anything over here?
Okay, let's see if we can make this jump. Oh yeah, easy. Air slash. Wait, there was like a weird beam over there to get on those other roots. Ice Fang. So this stuff was here the whole time, huh? Oh, you could have gotten there from over there, huh? Have I even been over there? Oh, we missed a Pokeball? I don't think I ever went up to that part. Let's go up there real quick. We got a little bit of time. Not really, but... We're supposed to be stopping the episode about now. Anyways, but we weren't going to do that to begin with, because we never do. It's sandwich place. It's like a park here, huh? Nothing special. All right, let's let's get going. Let's not keep Nimona waiting. Any second now. Ah, there you are. You ready for a battle between champions? Because all these folks here seem ready to watch. Word got around, I guess. I wonder whose fault that is. And out of every single person gathered here, I'm the most excited by a mile. Hey, even Larry showed up. The stage is set. It's my all-out power versus your strength in full fruition. Let's see who comes out on top. Okay, we finally get to see just how strong Nimona actually is. I wonder if she's going to take Quaxley, though. Quaxley isn't actually part of her team, right? But it seems like she would bring Quaxley. <laughs> Finally, the thing I've waited for all this time. Time to begin our greatest battle of all. Ooh, starting out level 65, huh? To think I helped teach you type matchups and now you're using them to put the hurt on me. A critical hit at a critical moment. That goes beyond luck. You've got some kind of gift. That is a guaranteed critical hit, Nimona. We've talked about this. Ooh, palm on. I think I go for play rough here. As much as I don't want to stay in, it'll be fine. Oh, that's going to hurt. Ah, uh, okay, yeah, I should have switched out. How do you like my real hard hits? Man, it feels good to finally let loose. Alright, good move, good move. I unfortunately let Meowskarata fall. But I came in to Shadow Sneak for the easy pickup. Earthworm. 
Do you have Earthquake? Why are you switching Orthworm in here? I guess I knew he had Bulldoze at least, or something like that. Could be bad for me, but we'll hope. Yeah, he tanky. He tanky. Hopefully he doesn't one-shot Cerulege. You have Earthquake. That's not good. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Goudreau. Do I stay in against Goudreau? Goudreau might have a water move, though. I gotta go Claude Sire. I don't think Goudreau can do anything to Claude Sire. Oh, there you go. I think I toxic you, honestly. Ice Beam! Wasn't expecting that! Clodsire doesn't have Protect. I really would need a Protect right now. Megahorn doesn't really seem like the right play. Okay, what do I go into? I don't want to keep... I don't want to waste Claude Sire's health here. Could be time for Tatsugiri. Let's see how much this Ice Beam does. It, it'll hurt, but... But Gudra is very specially defensive. Do I go for the nasty plot? I think I just... It's tough, because I don't think Tatsugiri is going to be fast enough to outspeed anyone. But I don't think I one-shot here without a nasty plot. So I kind of need both of these, but I don't see any way that I get both of them, you know? Let's Dragon Dance and see what happens. Ooh, I might be dead. Yeah. Alright. You were just faster than me, huh? So I was never gonna work in my favor anyways. Interesting. Well, Tatsugiri didn't get to do anything. That's unfortunate. Who comes out next? Probably Grafiai is our best bet here. Grafiai has U-turn too, right? Yeah, I do. Man, you are tanky. Ow. Dun Dun Sparts. Wait, this is the... isn't this the one that has the three segments? Yeah, I think he has an extra segment, but he doesn't have a different name. I don't think he one-shot me. I could be wrong. Okay, we got a poison. Drill ru okay, maybe you do one-shot me. <laughs> Forgot you could learn a move like Drill Run. Okay, we are getting down to the wire, huh? At last he has Quaxley. Oh, jeez. Quaquaval. 
Right, you. It's all down to this, my last Pokemon. We're gonna fight with everything we've got. Okay. I guess I just hope I get off a Psycho Cut here. Shine blazing bright, my greatest treasure. I hope I'm fast enough to get some damage. Ooh, that is not a lot of damage, but I guess you're not weak to it anymore. You're ready to see how strong Qualqual Wall has grown since the day we all met. Aqua Step. Yeah, I should have just gone for a Shadow Claw. I forgot that you were going to Terrastalize. Uh, speed Rose, that's not good. Okay, but can you do anything to Claude Sire? Brick break. Okay, that's not that much. Though. You are tanky, jeez. I don't think you can do enough to Claude Sire. He's too strong. Ice Spinner? Wait, you had this whole, the whole time? Why didn't you use that right away? Well, I'm actually down to my last Pokemon, huh? It would be really funny if we got a double down here with Wild Charge. Do I just go for Nuzzle? I think I go for Nuzzle. Wow. It might have been a double down. If I had gone for wild charge, it might have been a double down and a tie. Which would have been hilarious. I don't know if it quite would have done 18 damage to me, but it was very close. Wow, that was a close battle. Jeez. Mostly because I messed up Tatsugiri. I shouldn't have risked him. You, you did it. This is legit incredible. You're the strongest out there. I mean, you knocked me flat and I was giving you absolutely everything I had. Everything I, I, ha ha ha. Oh man, Pokemon battling, am I right? It's so much better, so much more fun than I ever even knew. Thanks for an incredible match. You beat me for real this time. Now let's give ourselves a minute and have a quick break. Before round two. <laughs> Which Pokemon should I bring out this time? Decisions, decisions. She's a little crazy. Victory Road, complete. Yo, Arvin here. Wow, wow. Whoa, down boy, don't jump up like that. Seems like hearing your voice has old Malo stiff here all worked up. Oh, but that's not why I called. Nearly forgot. You remember what we talked about before? About going to Area Zero? Yes. Of course you do, you little know-it-all. Got a mind like a steel trap, eh? Well, all the effort you've been putting in around Paldea has really helped you make a name for yourself. 
built up some goodwill, that's for sure. So I've been able to secure two allies who want to go to Area Zero with us. That should have us ready to tackle anything. So now we've all just got to get out there. First step will be gathering at Area Zero. I'll be ready and waiting at the Zero Gate. I'll send you the location on your phone too. Don't leave me hanging forever. Uh, I don't know if that counts as the location. I assume that gate behind Larry's uh, city is where we would get to this. We'll be waiting. Bow wow wow. Alright, well, I mean, that's about gonna do it. I'm gonna go outside. Freaking Blissey is still here. Is there any quests? Uh, we can go talk to the director. Let's go do that real quick. I can't the stupid Blissey. There it is. Thank you again for your outstanding work on Operation Starfall. I cannot tell you how relieved I am that we were able to help Miss Penny as we did. And I know she is exceedingly grateful to you for your part in this. In all this. So I have one more thing to ask of you though. The main... Though the request is admittedly of delicate nature. Do you think you could continue being good friends with Miss Penny as you have thus far? You bet. I must say, I truly am glad to have you as one of my students at the Academy. I believe you've more than earned the small token of my appreciation. A big nugget. Wow. I hope you will always stay just as wonderful as you are now. You formed a close bond with Director Clavel. Is that it for the Director Clavel or Clavel story? I'm so glad you came to y Yuva Academy. Anything else? Nope. Let us go to the entrance then. Alright, let's get out of here and see if anyone calls us. And then we'll check the map, see where we're going next. Nope, no calls. Okay, map. So are we just going up here? Yep. So let's fly us over to Medali. And I'll bring us to the back road that we need to travel, but then that will do it. For this one, we defeated the Pokemon League. Um, and completed Victory Road, which means that we've completed all the challenges, uh, or all the, the treasure paths, all leading to being able to go to Area Zero here at the end. Um, so we'll see what that has in store for us. Obviously, I think... Um, what is it? Fire Emblem. Fire Emblem is coming out. And that is the next game that I want to play, and I want to make sure we get it started uh, on time. So I might have to move back a Pokemon episode or so, so we can make sure that Fire Emblem gets started on time. But this should all come out before that, and then I'll, after we get started with Fire Emblem, I'll record Area Zero, or at least I'll try to, and we'll see if... Um, how we go forward from there. Area Zero might just be one episode. I don't know how long Area Zero is going to be. But anyways, that's going to do it for this one. Hopefully you enjoyed our journey going through all the different treasure pads. And hopefully we got some good stuff coming up as well. And hopefully Fire Emblem's good. Hopefully Midnight Suns continues to be good. And if you haven't been watching those, go check them out. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this one. And I will see you next time.